Hi. In this video, we will explain how to use CTrader built-in indicators in your CTrader, automate CBOTs, and utilize them to make trading decisions. To demonstrate this, we will develop a simple strategy based on the relative strength index indicator. We will switch to CTrader Automate and start by creating a new CBOT. We will rename our CBOT to RSI CBOT. Our strategy will enter by positions when the RSI indicator moves below a predefined threshold and enter sell positions when the I indicator moves above the predefined threshold. The first thing we need to do is to define our indicator in our CBOT class. Since our indicator will only be used in our CBOT, our indicator can be a private property of our class. All CTrader indicators need to be initialized before we can use them. And this is best to be done in the onStart method. Therefore, we will do the initialization here. CTrader offers a handy class that allows you to easily initialize building indicators using ready-made constructors. But before we can see how this is done, let's add two necessary parameters needed for the initialization of the indicator. We will add the source for the relative strength index and the relative strength index period. Now that we have added our parameters, we are ready to initialize our indicator. We will call the indicator's object and use the relative strength index constructor to initialize an RSI indicator. We will pass the source as a parameter, as well as the periods. Now that we have initialized our indicator, we can call it and use it in our trading logic. In the case of the RSI indicator, we can read the indicator's values through the results collection. Let's see an example below. We will use the onBar closed method and we will implement the following checks. If the current RSI value is below the RSI by threshold, we enter a buy position. Else if the current RSI value is above the RSI sell threshold, we enter a sell position. Our logic will need two more parameters that will enable us to modify this threshold before we execute the CBOT. Let's add them. Now we will implement the conditions of our trading logic. With our training condition statement, we can implement some of methods that will allow us to execute the trading orders. Let's implement an open method and a close method. But before we do that, let's add another parameter that will allow us to determine the traded volume. We will call this parameter volume. The volume parameter will allow us to configure the traded volume from the CBOT parameters.
Let's implement the open method first. We will create the method and we will pass as a parameter the trade type. Then we will check if there are any other positions open. If there aren't, we will open a new position towards the requested direction based in the defined volume. Now let's implement the close method as well. Again we will pass as a parameter the trade type and inside the method we will close all positions in this direction. We use this auxiliary methods to complete our trading logic. Let's build our strategy and see how it behaves on backtesting. Let's add an instance. And then backtest for the last 6 months. We can also add the relative strength index indicator on the chart and confirm that our trade entries are correct. We can see here that the sell position is entered as soon as the threshold of 70 is reached, and we can also see here that a buy position is entered as soon as the threshold of 30 is reached. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish in your video.